Hi friends, welcome to RRBJE 2019 classes. In this class, I am going to discuss previous RRB physics bits on electricity. First, first one, units of current. We know that units of current are nothing but amps or milliamps or microamps. And second one, one amp equal to one amp equal to dash. We know that the current I equal to Q by T. For units of this Q, Q is nothing but charge. Units of charge are nothing but coulombs. And units of time, seconds. So, coulomb per second. So, 1 amp equal to 1 coulomb per 1 second. Okay. And next one, the current is measured by an instrument. The current is measured by an instrument is nothing but ammeter. By using ammeter, we measure the current. And for open circuit, the current I equal to dash. We know that for open circuit, the current I equal to zero. In case of short circuit, the voltage V equal to zero. Very, very important bit it is. For open circuit, there is no current. So, current equal to zero. For short circuit, there is no voltage drop. So, that is voltage equal to zero for short circuit. And next one. Ideal ammeter has dash internal resistance. Ideal ammeter has zero internal resistance. Zero internal resistance. In case of ideal voltmeter, ideal voltmeter has infinite internal resistance. Infinite internal resistance. And the next one, units of charge. Units of charge are nothing but coulombs. Okay. And units of resistance. Units of resistance are nothing but ohms okay and the next bit 1 ohm equal to dash we know that according to the ohms law resistance r equal to voltage by current what are the units for voltage volts for currents there is amps so 1 volt per 1 amp so 1 ohm equal to 1 volt per 1 amp and the next one, the resistance is directly proportional to dash. The resistance is directly proportional to the length of wire and it is inversely proportional to the area of the wire. Okay, we know that uh, the R equal to rho L by A, rho L by A. That means R is directly proportional to the length of wire and R is inversely proportional to the area of the wire. And the next bit, temperature coefficient of resistance alpha is dash for conductors and dash for semiconductors the temperature coefficient of resistance alpha is positive for conductors and negative for semiconductors why because in case of conductors as temperature increases resistance also increases so that's why alpha is positive for conductors and in case of semiconductors, as temperature increases, the resistance value will be decreases. So, that's why negative for semiconductors. And the value is given by the temperature coefficient of resistance alpha is given by alpha equal to RT minus R naught by R naught T. Here RT is resistance at T degree centigrade and R naught is resistance at 0 degree centigrade. And the units of this temperature coefficient of resistance alpha, very very important units are per degree centigrade okay coming to the next previous bit potential difference can be produced by potential difference nothing but voltage voltage can be produced by battery okay and units of this voltage are volts okay and here 1 volt equal to we know that voltage v equal to w by q v equal to w by q what are the units for this W? Nothing but work. The units are work for joules. And for charge coulombs are coulomb. Charge units are coulomb. So, 1 volt equal to 1 joule per 1 coulomb. And the voltage is measured by an instrument is called voltmeter. Voltmeter. And another important bit for this voltmeter. Voltmeter has infinite internal resistance voltmeter has infinite internal resistance here voltmeter has inf uh, uh, infinite internal resistance 
and very very important bit for ac supply for ac supply the frequency is in india dash for ac supply frequency is dash in india in case of india the frequency is 50 hertz 50 hertz but in case of us that is america the frequency is 60 hertz in case of america the frequency is 60 hertz in case of india it is 50 hertz what is the frequency frequency is nothing but number of revolutions per second okay or number of cycles per second in case of electricity and next one resistivity resistivity is nothing but rho rho it is depend uh, resistivity is always depends only on nature of material nature of material it does not depend on any length or any area in case of the options has given a length b area c nature of material d none the answer is nature of material and the next important one resistivity of silver resistivity of silver the value of resistivity of silver is 1.6 into 10 power minus 8 ohm meter minus 8 ohm meter and the units of resistivity units of resistivity very very important units of resistivity are nothing but ohm meter and next one 20 second if two resistors having the resistance 10 ohms and 10 ohms are connected in series then the total resistance is if the resistors are connected in series means the, tot the total resistance equal to sum of the resistances so sum of the resistance means 10 plus 10 so the total is 20 if the two resistors are 20 ohms and 20 ohms are connected in parallel then the total resistance is if they are connected in parallel two resistors are connected in parallel then total resistance equal to r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 that is 20 into 20 by 20 into 20 by 20 plus 20 that equal to 10 ohms okay and the next one 24th for domestic purpose the loads are generally arranged in parallel arrangement parallel arrangement because in case of parallel arrangement the voltage is same for all the loads and current is divides in case of uh, next bit uh, the si unit of power very very important one si unit of power is nothing but watts or kilowatts and power equal to dash into dash that is the we know that power is the product of voltage and current so power is the product of voltage and current and energy is the product of dash and units of energy are we know that energy equal to product of power into time product of power into time and the units of this energy are watt hours or kilowatt hours okay watt hours or kilowatt hours in case of electrical energy in case of electrical energy and very very important bit 1 kilowatt hour equal to 1 kilowatt hour equal to dash joules 1 kilowatt hour equal to 3.6 into 10 power 6 joules okay and the next one dynamo dynamo is nothing but dc generator dynamo is nothing but generator generator or dynamo converts mechanical energy into electrical energy it converts mechanical energy into electrical energy that means it gives the electrical output dynamo gives electrical output in case of the motor motor gives mechanical output okay and next very very important bit in motor car battery the voltage is usually 12 volts the voltage is usually 12 volts very very important in case of any motor car battery or uh, two wheeler battery the voltage is usually 12 volts and the electric motor converts dash energy to dash energy the motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy if we give the supply to the motor that means we give electrical energy and the motor is output of the motor is it rotates rotates means mechanical energy so the motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy and battery converts dash energy to dash energy in case of the battery there is a chemical 
chemical. So that's why this chemical is converted to electrical energy. Case of battery converts chemical energy to electrical energy. And next question regarding to the transformer. Transformer is used to dash. The transformer is used to change the voltage. It is used to change the voltage. That means it is used to step up or step down the voltage. That is increase or decrease the voltage. Okay. And coming to the rectifier. Rectifier is nothing but which converts AC to DC. AC to DC. And in case of inverter, inverter is nothing but which converts DC to AC. DC to AC. And the element used to block the DC is called capacitor. The capacitor blocks the DC current. Okay. For DC, the capacitor is open circuit. That's why it blocks the DC. And the device used to change the speed of fan. The device used to change the speed of fan. It is nothing but regulator. Regulator changes the speed of fan. If a copper wire is increased to double its length, then the resistance is, we know that the resistance is directly proportional to the length. So if the length is double, the resistance also double. So R is proportional to And if the resistance is, uh, length is double, then resistance is also double. And it next to 139, a device is used to limit the current. A device is used to limit the current. For limiting the current, we use electrical fuse. We use electrical fuse. The important property of this electrical fuse is nature of the, the nature of the fuse is it has high resistance and low melting point. It has high resistance and low melting point. Very, very important. The nature of fuse is high resistance and low melting point. The filament of electric bulb is generally made up of tungsten. The filament of electric bulb is generally made up of tungsten. Why we use this tungsten means this melting point of tungsten is very high. The melting point of tungsten is very high. So that's why we use it as the filament of electric bulb. Next one. For superconductor is the conductor whose resistance is zero. Whose resistance is zero. That means the superconductors have high, very high conductivity. Very high conductivity due to the resistance is zero. Almost zero. Okay. And best conductor of electricity is nothing but silver. And coming to the conductivity, silver is greater than copper and greater than the aluminum. Silver has high conductivity. So it is the best conductor for electricity. But we don't use the silver as the conductor. Why? Because the cost of the silver is very high. So that's why we use copper or aluminum. By using multimeter, we can measure. As the name itself, the multimeter, multi, that means it can measure voltage or current or resistance. Voltage or current or resistance. But it cannot measure the power cannot measure the power it cannot measure the power and the next one transformer can't work on dc transformer does not work on dc it, it works on only on ac and transformer cannot change in case of the transformer, transformer cannot change the frequency or power. It changes the only the voltage or current. So the transformer can change the voltage without changing the frequency. So frequency is constant in case of transformer. That is 50 Hz in case of India. And transformer works on the principle of mutual inductance. Mutual inductance. And next to 46th one, the direction of motion in motor is given by, I already discussed direction of motion in case of motor. Motor means, just to remember as M L A, M L A, that means motor left hand rule. So, Fleming's left hand rule, remember as a M L A. 
in case of this uh, Fleming's left hand rule, the, the direction of the motor is given by the thumb. Thumb gives the direction of motion, Fleming's left hand rule. The direction of induced EMF or current in a generator is given by Fleming's right hand rule. Fleming's right hand rule. Just remember as generator has two R's. So, right. Fleming's right hand rule. Here the middle finger of the right hand gives the induced EMF or current direction. And next one, very very important one, the magnetic lines of force that is flux flow outside of a magnet. Outside of a magnet is north to south that is outside north to south. But inside, in case of north to south means south inside south to north, inside south to north. Once again the magnetic flux lines, now in case of outside north to south and inside south to north okay and according to the faraday's faraday's second law e equal to minus n d pi by dt here minus indicates which law minus indicates lynch law lynch law that means the produced emf opposes the change in flux okay and the resistance of human body under dry condition is 10 power 5 ohms under dry condition. Dry condition the resistance is very high. In case of wet or broken condition the resistance is low that is 10 power 3 ohms. 10 power 3 ohms. Okay friends in next video we will discuss remaining previous RRB bits. Okay thank you and please subscribe my channel for updates. Okay thank you very much.